No dry suit? No problem. In today's video, I want to talk about how I keep warm during my winter pedals without a dry suit. So let's dive in. Welcome back peddlers, I'm Lex the Pedaling Dutchman and if you're like me and have not yet invested in a dry suit or don't want to invest in a dry suit, which is also a possibility, then this video is for you. So we'll be looking at what I wear during my winter pedals and how I keep nice and toasty. So let's start at the start. As a base layer, I wear a thermal long sleeve and some thermal pants. Now I wear these underneath my wetsuit. And at first I was really like, I'm not sure about wearing things underneath a wetsuit. Will it still work? Will it like, you know, keep the layer of water that needs to get warm so you stay warm? But I actually found out that it's much more comfortable to wear it underneath your wetsuit than to wear it over it. This is a long sleeve shirt, but I also have normal thermal shirts and I will swap those out depending on how cold it is outside. And just as with the pants, if it's not that cold, I will not wear the thermal pants at all. For the next layer, I wear my wetsuit. Now I have two wetsuits. I have a long john wetsuit right here and I have, well, for lack of a better term, a shorty wetsuit right here. The shorty one is a little bit thicker. I think it's about four, three, three to four millimeters. And the long john is three millimeters. Now, depending on how cold it is, I will switch between the two and I, well, like everybody says, you know, like the long john wetsuits, they're especially made for peddlers and for people pedaling. So it's definitely a little bit easier to pedal in the long john wetsuit. But the shorty, it's not that bad as well. And it will keep you a little bit warmer. Found them. Next comes my footwear. Now I have these neoprene shoes, which are actually quite warm and I wear them all year long but when it's really really cold outside I wear some wool or in this case synthetic ski socks inside the neoprene boots which keep your feet really really warm and toasty and when it gets wet it's not really a problem and it just adds to the warmth. What's up next? So up next is an item which really depends on how cold it is and it's a fleece sweater and I will wear it over my wetsuit and all the layers that I've put under it. But I will only wear it if it's actually really, really cold or snowing, but it's, it's a good option to have in your bag as well. And last but not least, a good dry top. I have a Palm Zenith dry top right here, which I use well most of the year. I actually wear it in the summer, in the spring, during late fall and during the winter and it keeps me nice and warm and keeps my top dry so if I don't fall in I don't have to worry about getting wet and this is really the pièce de résistance of my winter outfit. Oh, it's actually really small. And finally if I'm not whitewater kayaking and just touring I have this synthetic hat to keep my ears warm I keep my noggin all nice and warm. I don't often wear it because when I have all the layers on, I get quite warm and it might even be a little bit too much. So I often just ditch the hat and just go, well, with my pandemic full head of hair. I don't wear gloves because I don't like gloves. I had a pretty bad uh, experience during my first time white water kayaking where I couldn't feel my hands anymore and I couldn't pull the rescue toggle on my spray deck. I don't like gloves and I personally feel that when I'm paddling, when I'm exercising and when I'm straining myself, my hands get actually pretty warm even though they're in the water oftentimes and get wet all the time. So that is my winter paddling setup. Of course, as with any setup, there are some pros and some cons. So let's take a look at them. First, let's go through the pros. So of course it is cheap. It is much, much cheaper than a dry suit. I think my whole gear set comes in around 250 euros, as opposed to like the dry suit starting at four or 500 euros. The most expensive part of my setup definitely is my dry top, but this is an expensive dry top and I wear it all year long. So you can go for a cheaper option and still get the same result. Another big pro that I think is it's easy to regulate your warmth. As you've seen, I wear a lot of layers, which I can take off and put on depending on how cold the weather is. And I can even take some layers off during a pedal or add some layers during a pedal if I'm cold or either warm. So that is, I think, a big plus. 
Segwaying into that is also the fact that I can wear my setup, well, most of the year. If it's summer, I just only wear my long john wetsuit, but when it's winter, I put on all the layers. When it's spring, I put on my dry top, I put on my wetsuit, and maybe, maybe a thermal shirt, and the boots, but that's it. And when it's late fall, I add a shirt, I add some pants, so I can wear them and combine them like during the whole year, just with only this setup, which is actually really nice. Another pro in my book is that sweat is not a problem. I am a sweaty guy, like I said, this setup keeps me nice and toasty, so I will sweat a little bit, but that just adds to the warmth and to like the way this setup works. When you get wet, you get warm. Opposed to a dry suit, you just get soggy. Another big thing and the last big pro for me is that it's a sturdy and robust setup. If you get a scratch or a hole in your wetsuit or in your thermal shirt, it does not matter. It will still keep you warm regardless. Whereas if you get a hole in your dry suit, well, it's not a dry suit anymore. And of course, there are some cons. And the biggest, biggest con of them all is that you will get wet. That's the whole idea of this setup. When you fall into the water, you get soaking wet. But that's what keeps you warm. But a lot of people have an aversion to getting wet, especially in winter, which I definitely understand. That's a big thing, and that's not something that can be avoided. Even the dry top, it's not 100% waterproof, and still when you fall into the water, your wetsuit and your boots and your whole lower body will let in some water. So there's another big con right there. When you fall in some really cold water, you're still gonna be really cold at first. It really takes some time for your wetsuit and for your whole body to regulate its warmth and it will take some time. So you will still be cold and fairly cold so in the very first couple of minutes that you enter the water and maybe even when you're out of the water. But that is also something that you would have with a dry suit. It's a dry suit, not a warmth suit. So if you stay for a prolonged period of time in the water, regardless of with a dry suit or a wet suit setup, you will still have to get out of the water ASAP and if possible, get changed. And then last but not least, there is a certain smell to neoprene and wetsuits and especially when you're a sweaty guy like me, yeah. Okay. And there you have it, peddlers. That is my winter setup and the things that I use when I go on my winter pedals to stay warm and toasty. And as you've seen, you don't have to invest in a very expensive dry suit though. If you're an avid peddler and you pedal a lot in winter and a lot in different conditions and you wanna stay nice and dry, well then of course a dry suit is your best bet. Let me know in the comments how your winter setup looks and what you wear and what you've learned during your paddles, which are best practices or not. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the water soon. And don't forget to paddle. <laughs>